Oh, hello there. Welcome to my studio. Um, so this week we're going to start our unit on printmaking. But before we get started in the actual printmaking, um, we're gonna really dive into texture because when you're working in printmaking, you're really using texture um, to make your prints come alive. Um, so we're gonna start out first uh, by step one, which is finding um, is going to be your actual texture. And what you're going to do is you're going to find some items around your house that are some actual texture. So you can see I found some bubble wrap here, which is like has a nice texture. So actual texture is just what our senses, what we can feel. So something that you can feel. So like, you know, you have texture in a piece of paper, but it's fairly light, right? It's not very, it's not a lot of texture. So there's a smooth texture and then there's rough texture. And we're looking for that rougher texture when we're looking for things. Um, I have this little frame that has this nice uh, texture. When I feel this, I can really feel the texture of the frame on the outside. I found this cool patch that says love and that has some nice texture a piece of cork. So I'm really feeling those different textures, right? This is cool. This little um, container thing here that has a nice texture on it and my basket. So this basket is awesome, has really nice texture. Oh, my earring is also really cool. It's got this nice texture on the top and something even as simple as like my sweater or my hair. Like, so this texture that I see and feel in my hair is also a really nice texture. So the way you're going to capture your uh, actual texture is by taking photos. So you're going to use your Chromebook and you're going to put your texture as close as you can into the frame. So um, go into the Google Classroom and go into the document in there and you're just going to insert photos. Okay, so in Google Classroom, you'll click on the texture project and you'll go into the Google slide document and you each got a copy of this in your Google Classroom. And you'll see three slides here. And when you're in actual, um, you are going to add in some photos. So it says right here, insert image and camera. So if you go up to insert and then you go to image and then camera, you can take photos of your texture. So I can hold up my texture as close as I can to the camera and take a photo. Oh, here's a better texture. So I'll hold up my texture to my camera and hit my little button, get it nice and close and make sure it's focused. And then you can see it saves here. So then what I can do is get my second texture, get that nice and close, make sure it focuses, take another photo and you can see they start to add up here. If I hit insert, it will insert my photo. I can just drag it over the boxes Take at least up to three photos. You don't have to fit them in these little boxes. They're just guides. But I could like, I could double click on that. Double click on my image and then crop it down to just the texture without my fingers or my face or anything and just have this tiny little texture sample. If I wanna get that other photo that I took, I can just go back again to insert image camera and you'll see right over here is my other image insert and again i can double click crop that down whoops control c control z that you gotta make sure that you're not on the blue and you're on that black for the crop crop that down and there you are. I have my just my cropped texture and I can put that there. So fill up these squares with your photos. So 
after you took all your photos and you uploaded, you put those all into the Google Classroom slide, your step two is doing your rubbing, your frottage texture. So this is a texture that um, is just, frottage is the act of rubbing to create a texture. So for this project, you're gonna get your piece of paper, um, a pencil, um, and some crayons will be great too, crayons. Uh, and so what you'll do here is that you're gonna take and uh, put your, your piece right underneath and start doing a rubbing, uh, which I'm sure you've done this before, so it's no different than maybe what you've done as a younger child, if you've ever done that. But what's cool is you can kind of start to see like what kind of texture that creates, right? Um, and just you're gonna go through your different pieces that you have. You could change this. It doesn't have to be what you took photos of. You could go outside for this and do a tree, go find some wood, um, find a textured rock, um, do your objects, whichever ones you want. What, what, you know, some of your textures might not come out that great and some will. So um, like I'll show you if I do my cork, it's, it's a cool texture. It's just not, it's not that dramatic. It's just kind of a small type of texture. Um, so, but something like my love patch might be a little better. So I can see the love come up and then the, the lines around it, just kind of a fun thing to rub to get a fun texture. And then I can see that is different than the lines around. Um, or my basket will be a good texture to do. Yeah. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to see what the pattern is. What's the pattern of my texture? Uh, you might have something like bubble wrap or something soft. Like if you did your hair, like that's really hard to do rubbings with. Same with this bubble wrap. So that you can see that doesn't pick up the texture. It just gets the texture of the crayon, right? So things that are soft aren't going to work. So when you're doing your frottage, Make sure you're using hard textures, textures that are really stiff and hard. So fill up your page and then you'll take a photo of that. Um, so you can collect different textures all over the place and have fun with that. Okay, so from your texture slide, you're going to the second one, click on the second one and it should say frottage and you will be taking a photo um, the same exact way, go up to insert image and camera, and you will have take get a nice photo of all of the textures that you took. Um, so you can see I have all these fun textures uh, that I tried to get. Some of them didn't turn out like this one over here didn't really turn out that great, but I tried and I've got some awesome patterns. Look at all these patterns. This is my favorite. It's kind of like, this was rocks going over rocks, a, a rock mat. That was fun. Anyway. So once you've got your textures, take that little capture and then hit insert and you'll put that right in here. If you have more than one page, you can put that in there or you can just put the one page on there and you are good. our very last one is our is step number three and that's implied texture and implied texture um looks as as if it is it has texture but it's an illusion so what you're doing is you're actually going to use your piece of paper and your pencil and you're going to reference all your different textures that you did so get your photos up that you took get your get your piece of rubbing and you'll start to start to do um, some drawings. So like I'm looking right now on my computer, I'm looking at the bubble wrap. I could actually physically look at the bubble wrap too. And I'm gonna start to draw that texture, which is really just some circles, right? So just trying to draw what I'm seeing and create that texture. I could put like some shading in there if I wanted, but really I'm just going to start drawing just those circles to get that implied texture. And you don't have to do the whole page with one, you're just doing like a little sampling. So just do some samples of these different textures. 
like this this is a cool weave like it's got things going one way lines going one way lines going the other way so you're just kind of documenting some textures that you're seeing so you can document you can document those things down so that you have these different textures okay All right, don't forget to put your um, image in slide three, uh, whichever way works for you. Uh, but you can insert image by taking a photo or you can insert a file, uh, whichever is easier.